Oh man, I got a new addition to our shop and it is awesome. And we're going to take production to another level and we're going to teach everyone how to use it. You know what it is? It's right here. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. Oh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here at the shop by myself. And guess what? I'm going to introduce you to a new technology we have, and I'm excited because we're going to teach you how to use it. But before we get started, I just want to say, if you love the videos that we're putting out, please hit the subscribe button. If you got questions, put them in the comments and like the video if you like it. And uh, here we go. So check this out. The CR15 collaborative robot. Uh, that's what green means. So green is collaborative. And then the yellow ones, those like the LR mate, those are the ones that are meant for just moving fast, boom, 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 being behind cages and uh, meant for heavy production. And we're also gonna get one of those, all right? So check it out. We already got the shunk gripper. Look at that, boom. And we actually put this on. My son Tyson actually figured out like the wires and stuff. Everything's still getting put together, all right? One of the cool things that I'll say is like, check this out. Oh, see this piece right here? We needed a piece for the camera, so we actually designed and 3D printed it. Look at that. We did that in our own shop. Boom, getting everything ready. So this, this is gonna have like the hand control, boom, boom, where you can actually program it. It's also gonna have the camera, so it's gonna have vision, and you'll be able to actually program it also like any other robot. One of the cool things too is I was gone when the robot showed up. I was in Ohio. So I actually came in last weekend with my kids and they were so excited. I got twin eight-year-olds, Gabrielle and Nathaniel, and we came in, they helped me unpackage it, they took the shrink wrap off it. They were so excited. And I'm excited too, because as I teach you guys how to actually program this, I'm gonna teach them too. And it's gonna be awesome because that's part of the benefits of having a machine shop in the family, right? So we're doing our makerspace at home. They're gonna to come to work on the weekends. They're gonna learn how to use the robots. And that's what we have to do with our kids. Get them excited about making things, taking raw material, creating something that has value that builds the child's self-esteem that gives them confidence right manufacturing gave me confidence so a lot of you guys are gonna say titan why are you actually bringing in robots robots kill jobs boom 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 and they're gonna just bring hellfire on me right this is the truth right here technology is good we have to embrace technology we got to learn it we can't be afraid of it we got to learn how to actually use it to our benefit all right, you guys all know I'm all about global manufacturing, right? I always say, if you're in Australia, China, Brazil, New York, California, wherever you're at, you need to manufacture your own parts because you have people in your communities that are built to make things. They're built and created to build things. And when you take away those opportunities, then they end up not having something to do. And that's when our prisons go high. That's when people struggle through life because they're not able to do what they were created to do. So you're gonna say that robots will kill jobs, but I'll say that the jobs are already gone. I mean, look at t-shirts and clothing. The US makes 2% of our clothing. It's already being done. But now you have factories that are bringing in robots to actually create shirts here in the United States, and that's amazing. And guess what? That building had to be built. Those robots had to be put on the floor. You need technicians to take care of the robots. You need programmers. You need automation programmers and designers, right? And you need people to actually ship out parts. So it actually is bringing jobs. So there's an industry that used to be overseas that now you can do here because of robots, right? A lot of small parts that used to be made in other countries can now be made here because of robots. Here's something that a lot of people don't understand. In China, they've figured out how to automate completely the process of making phones using robots and automation and no people. If they can actually do that in China with robots and fully automate it, why can't we do it here? Why can't we take the same machines and the same automation and do it here and then hire people to actually program and design and work at that facility that could have never been here? But now because of automation and robotics, 
it can. As this new generation of kids go through Robotics First and these different training programs they have in the high schools on robots and stuff, as an older generation, we need to also know that this is a friend. This helps us compete as a nation. It helps us keep jobs here, right? Competition is good. And whether it's a CNC machine or a robot or a machine tending where a robot works with a CNC machine, we got to figure out how to actually outcompete the competition, how to drop our times, how to get the machines to run nonstop lights out. That is the name of the game. It is competition. It's friendly competition. But at the same time, if you don't win that competition, you don't put food on your tables and you can't pay your employees. So you got to take technology very serious. And because I believe in technology and I believe in innovation and I believe in all the amazing things in manufacturing, that's why we're bringing this guy in. That's why we're bringing a robo drill in with an LR mate and we're going to set it up and we're going to show how to actually make production, how to program the parts, how to work hold the parts. We're going to show how the robots interacts with the machine and how to grab raw material, put it into the machine and take it out and do it for 10,000 parts. We're gonna show you all of that. I'm gonna make tutorials and we're gonna go through the process. We're gonna show you how to turn this baby on, right? We're gonna show you how to put the gripper on. We're gonna show you a million different types of grippers. We're gonna show you how to assemble it. We're gonna show you how to program it, not just program it, but program it in many different ways. And we're gonna get our kids excited. We're gonna get you excited. And we're gonna show you this technology and we're gonna create a robot and automation platform on our academy where anybody in the future can go on there and learn everything for free. And guess what? When you're a CNC machinist and you know how to actually program robots, how to fix robots, how to do all of it, then guess what? You make more money. You're more valuable. And this is the future. So don't be scared of the technology. Embrace it. And we're going to give that technology to you guys for free. Uh, CNC machining, automation, robots, boom, dude. Check out that shunk gripper, so cool. Oh man, look at it. I mean, as a machinist, I'm already looking. I can actually take this jaw off and I can create my own jaws and, and cut the profile of the part in it because it just assembles like right here. Like my mind is already moving. Like think about it. Like you can't even comprehend things that are gonna come. And it's your mind that envisions and thinks about everything. So out machine the competition, out think the competition, out work the competition so you can make money and feed your families. If you're at home because of the coronavirus, again, you saw the video the other day, cool under pressure, cool under pressure. You got some free time, spend some time with your family. We're all gonna get through it and we're gonna come back to work and we're gonna get right back after it and we're gonna be bigger than we ever were before. So make sure that you're cool under pressure. And if you got time, academy.titansofcnc.com, free education. If you don't know how to program, go learn how to program, learn how to design, put the time in on the tutorials so that you can take your skills to a whole nother level. Some people put in the work, some don't, some advance, some don't, you get what I'm saying? Put the work in, the academy's free. I love you guys, it's for you, boom.